It is indeed true that, that, that it is something special if you can work at this location, um, realizing which other people have worked here in the past and, and what kind of research has been done here in the past. The core research of this institute is physical chemistry. So research on, on the border between chemistry and physics. And so the original name of the institute was the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physical Chemistry and Electrochemistry. And right now we're named the Fritz Haber Institute after our first director. Um, if we would have a descriptive name, like all other Max Planck Institutes have, then we would for sure be the Max Planck Institute for Chemical Physics or the Max Planck Institute for Physical Chemistry. So here you see a photograph taken in, um, in 1913 from the area in Berlin, in berlin Dahlem, in the southwest of Berlin, where it all started at that time. So here on the right-hand side, you see a photograph of the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Physical Chemistry and Electrochemistry. So these are the research buildings. And um, well, the, the big building next to it was actually the house of the first director, Fritz Haber. I'm really interested to do fundamental research. And, um, and my field of research has been gas phase molecular physics. And in this particular field, this institute actually has a very long tradition, going back indeed to Fritz Haber, going back to, um, in particular, also the period between the two world wars, where at this institute, um, important contributions have been made to the development of the quantum mechanics and testing of quantum mechanics. And um, so in that sense, the, the kind of research I am, I am interested in is, is rooted in a very long history at this place, which gives it a, a special charm. But of course, the most important um, reason to come here and to do this at this institute is that here, the possibilities are created and the infrastructure is made available to be able to do state-of-the-art research in this field. Um, not only stepping in the footsteps of what people have done for 100 years at the same location, but also competing worldwide um, with the best in the field. Here you see a picture taken in this building, actually at the location where we're standing right now, of Fritz Haber, the first director, standing next to Albert Einstein. Um, Albert Einstein and, and Fritz Haber were very good friends um, ever since they met here in Berlin. Albert Einstein actually also lived for half a year in the house of Fritz Haber. So this is the house where um, Fritz Haber lived when he came to Berlin. He lived here with his first wife, Clara Immerwahr. And Clara Immerwahr also was the first female PhD in physical chemistry in Germany. And Fritz Haber worked here on his research on the fixation of nitrogen, on the making of ammonia, on the making of fertilizer. Um, he also was involved in the First World War in the making of poison gas. His wife really couldn't stand his behavior, and um, nobody knows exactly where, but somewhere on the premises, she committed suicide. And this is a stone just telling um, that, that she lived here as well. I don't know if there's any notable advantage or disadvantage being, being Dutch while working at a Max Planck Institute. If there is any, any difference in the way in the Netherlands things are organized, or in the Netherlands you would organize things in a lab, uh, you can do that here at the Max Planck Society as well. And, and you get this flexibility and possibility to do this. And that's actually how I have organized things in my lab. So what, you, what you see here is the, um, the main experimental setups that we have set up here, really in the, in the old hall at the Institute. So this, this building is really 100 years old. When I came here, it has been, um, been completely renovated. So from the outside, it, it has been brought back in the same shape as it, as it looked like 100 years ago. From the inside, it's completely modernized. And in here, we have a variety of experiments set up in which we, um, well, slow down, trap, and in generally play with molecules um, and, um, and try to let them do what we want them to do. And so that's basically the different machines um, that you see standing here. So we do collision experiments with them. We store them for a long time in a, in a trap and um, measure lifetimes of, in, of the molecules in particular states. 
Um, we work with small molecules on the one hand, so really small, consisting out of two atoms or a few atoms. One of the molecules we, um, we always work with and we do a lot of experiments with, interestingly enough, is ammonia. So the molecule that was first synthesized here by Fritz Haber is also the molecule that we, uh, that we do a lot of experiments on. And, uh, but in addition, we also um, are using larger and larger molecules to see how these methods can be used to manipulate um, ever larger and maybe also more interesting species. I'm intrigued by, um, by the fact that here at the Max Planck Society, I'm given the possibility to, um, well, I, I see it as, as to basically do what I want to do. And, um, and I get even money for that and I get people for that and we get, get lab infrastructure to, to do that. You can wonder, I mean, how do you know what you want to do in five years from now? And, and maybe the most honest question is, I don't know what I will be doing in five years from now. But at the same time, having said that, I'm not worried at all. I'm, I'm not worried that I wouldn't have anything to do in five years from now. Um, I find that one of the, the interesting aspects. And if you ask, is, it, um, is, it com is, is doing fundamental research comparable to, um, to art? I think to, to a large extent, indeed, indeed it is. And um, we need good ideas. We need good ideas from people that come from all over the world, that want to come here, to work here, to influence each other. And, um, and together we, we develop something and work on something that well, we didn't really plan several years ago, but that's just what comes out.